what's up? It's Steve from Drone Buyers Club and today we're just going to have a quick look at the RiseTech DJI Tello. So this has just dropped through the door today and we're just going to open it up, have a quick look at it and just sort of see what comes in there. So the first thing you notice for sort of a DJI product, although it's sort of, it's a kind of cross project between a few companies, but the first thing you kind of notice is that the boxing is is more aimed at kind of like a toy drone so the you don't get the kind of professional looking box and everything that you'd get with the other other kind of drones from DJI but you've got to bear in mind that this is probably a quarter of the price of the nearest drone to it which is the Spark so you know for a hundred pounds this is kind of what you get case wise so if we open it up inside this packaging is literally just all the Tello drone so it comes in one solid piece and it's got the prop guards attached which uh, these are all removable these prop guards so you can fly with or without it but to be honest it gives you a bit of kind of peace of mind flying with that the frame of it is pretty sturdy it's for the price I, I think that's quite a good solid frame and the prop guards are strong enough, you know, just to kind of keep you from breaking too many props. The other bits you'll get in there. Just grab these bits out here. So in the drone, you've got the battery. And also these little bits, which are four extra props and a prop removal tool which we don't really need but it's there anyway and obviously the instructions um, so with the props you do just have to bear in mind when you look at this uh, there are markings on the sort of adjacent ones so uh, these ones have got markings on these ones don't so if you're going to replace them just make sure you replace them with the right props or you're going to cause issues uh, flying the drone but yeah it's quite a nice little drone you can see the vision sensors on the bottom the battery is like nice and simple just to kind of slide in and out of there it's really just one piece and it's there's not really any controls on there. there's a micro usb on the side um you don't actually get a lead for it but it's literally just a micro usb port and you can either plug that into your laptop or you know any usb port or you can do it with a plug you know any phone charger really for you know more like an android device a tablet or a phone a lot of them have still got that older micro usb connection so you should have plenty of things you can charge that on and once it's charged up you literally you, you probably need to chuck this on charge i think they say for an hour and a half but basically the blue blinking light's got to go solid so just leave it on until it's all charged up so you get the most out of your battery and then once it's on it's literally there's one button on the drone press it and that's it um we're gonna do a quick setup video as well so if you want to check that out make sure to subscribe and catch it up in the next video